Hello, hello, hello. And your is this the original? Yeah. I watch the subtitles. I don't know. What's up, Rojo? With another reaction today, we're hopping into another pilot program slash reaction requested episode. Uh, we are watching Outlander, episode number one of season number one, called Sassanach. I don't know. I have no idea what the show's about. Uh, this is a show that was requested, of course, as part of the pilot program, the reaction request program tier that we have on the channel. Um, it was requested. It is a pretty long episode. It is an hour and three minutes long. But we're going to check it out. Uh, I don't really know anything about it. I saw a woman and a man. I think it's from a different country. I believe this I believe this is like a well-received show. I think I've heard of the show, like in name only. Uh, but I believe it was it's a well received show. It looks like a romance for the the thumbnail thing. Looked like it showed a man and a woman kissing or like really close to each other, like if they're about to kiss. I didn't really know what the vibe of the colors were, so I went with green and purple. Don't ask me why. I just did. And yeah, we're just gonna hop in, see what it's all about. I believe it's English because I didn't see another option here and it does seem and i don't know we'll see if i can understand if it's like hard like if it's english like if it's just regular english or if it's like it's hard to understand i'll turn on the subtitles uh but yeah we're just gonna hop in and have a good time here we go the end of the war Oh my god, did you see the hole in his leg? That's a clap the femoral artery before he bleeds out. Kill the firstborn is that thing. Oh god, I mean. Perhaps Pharaoh has refused Moses and the Exactly. Of death will travel the streets of Inverness. That's what I, I you're joking, but I'm dead ass. Blood. You may be closer than you think. It could well be some sort of sacrificial ritual, but it's a bit pagan rather than Hebrew. That's a bet. I mean, on you, lady, you need a better bed. You don't want to be hearing that, like that, because that's. You know, one of those things I used to try and remember. In my cot. It's weird. It's like that's a good bouncy cut. Nice and smooth. <laughs> okay. Happy? Yes. Oh, sure. I brought you a better That's refreshment, gentlemen. I brought but the two Pilot cups is literally for Outlander, episode one, Outlander. <laughs> yes. That's cool. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Yours is... forked. Is this show about, like, uh, alternate dimensions or something? Your ancestor had a patron. Uh, a prominent and, and powerful man. Because she said, him from the sense of you're the taking a possibly, journey. But it would have to have been someone but you're staying very put. high up in the hierarchy of the day. Your line that kind of influence. just divide like a Did fort. Like, what does that mean? Like, what? Prophecy. The war had taught me to cherish the present because tomorrow might not ever it. come to pass. Because another thing is, the, the fucking time. intro had people with swords and shit. Would prove less important. It threw me off. Than yesterday. Oh no, she didn't. I thought she was gonna go with the wooden. The vase had nothing to do with this. Who went home after the race? Roosevelt Christ. Wait, what? Is this 
this about go? What the fuck was that? Hell no. Nah. Dude, how are you not freaking out? The dude fucking disappeared. What the hell was that? Frank, it's open to have the whole place lit up by the time you got back. What was that? Oh boy, disappeared. Darling, dude. what's the matter? Saw a ghost? I don't know. It's weird. Frank. Mm -hmm. All I meant was that even if you had, it would make no difference to me. I love you, and nothing you could ever do could stop my loving you. I mean, how many years did he say five? She said five years. We saw each other ten times. Or was it three years, ten times? Forgive me. Forgive me. And some small voice inside warned me. I wasn't supposed to be here. I was an unwelcome voyeur to something ancient and powerful. Yeah, I mean, I would have thought that too. I would feel like if they see us, they're going to... My brain went to, is that you from like another dimension? Like, I'm so lost on what's happening. <laughs> what have you got there? Maybe it's straightforward. Maybe nothing is happening. Maybe it's just me lost, thinking I'm not sure. crazy. Why don't you pop back and get it? I was considering it. Would you care to go with me? Oh, darling. I'd love to, but... I didn't catch it at the beginning. Is this based on a book? It feels like a book. I don't know why. I get vibes that it's based on a book. Based on like a... I don't know. Is she gonna go pick the flowers? I got weird vibes from these things. Like it's like these are monoliths from like almost like Agents of Shield type thing. We're gonna touch it and like get transported to like a different dimension or some shit. I don't know why. Just the vibe I got. Is that like a storm coming? Yeah, see, oh, it's right, right? Oh my God. Was that right? Once, traveling at night, I oh. fell asleep in the passenger seat of a moving car, lulled by the noise and the motion into an illusion of serene weightlessness. Then the driver took a bridge too fast, and I woke to see the world spinning outside the car windows. Things gone. If they're gone. Oh, another. Oh, yeah, they are. They're small. They're small. Another. So there. It was weird. It was like, it was making. It was like a making a noise, almost like. Car is gone. Also, you left your scarf then. Road's gone. Wait, what year is this? When confronted with the impossible, the rational mind will grope for the logical. Perhaps I had stumbled onto the set of a cinema company filming a costume drama of some sort. Huh? 